Yeah, good evening, friends. Uh, I'm Pradeep Kumar here. Um, I am going to tell you about uh, the uh, examples of how to use, how to demonstrate a co op. Co op in Kalpiki. So, this is my example now. So, co op means. Constraint application protocol. So it's a lightweight HTTP protocol. So protocol HTTP protocol has huge number of headers, whereas constraint application protocol will have only less number of headers uh, because uh, this constraint application protocol directly acting on the sensors and in turn uh, sensors will uh, tell you the information only about the uh, sensor information suppose example if a moat has three different sensors temperature uh, light and accelerometer so this co-op will fetch only these three values temperature light and uh, accelerometer so such kind of uh, light windows is there in the constant application protocol this constant application protocol is very helpful uh, for monitoring the uh, medicinal uh, grade uh, medical grade uh, thermistors, medical grade um, yeah, any any medical uh, sensor devices. So, for example, uh, if a patient has to be monitored the heartbeat and the pulses of a uh, of the heart patient, then in that case, if I use a co-op, uh, it will uh, it will measure the heartbeat or the uh, pulses uh, by placing the sensor mode in, uh, near the chest or near the uh, heart of a particular patient. So this application, how to include or uh, how to demonstrate in uh, Kantika Optic system, uh, this we will see. So as usual, uh, so I open the terminal, then cd Kantiki iPhone 2.7 uh, to Kuja. So can we just show you the path? So this is the path where it, it runs the hand to hand run. So once it runs, so it uh, opens the Eclipse editor uh, or the Kantiki or the Kuja simulator it opens. So we call it as Kuja the Kantiki network simulator. So oh, you can uh, refer my earlier video uh, how to uh, simulate a particular Kuja simulator for uh, web traffic that you can able to see. And now I am going to create a new simulation. So my simulation name is Coop Simulator. simulator. So I create it and a radio medium is you can leave it as it is and uh, just create a radio medium and i have uh, this window so this is a network window simulation control the notes anything the mode output and the timeline so if at all if you want to measure the uh, radio messages you can use the radio messages also here so better you can uh, minimize it accordingly yes so now i will use the, the view i will see the radio traffic i'll use the grid and i'll use the radio environment so now I'm going to add the modes here. So when you want to add modes, so first I'm going to create a sky mode. Sky mode is very popular as well as very easy for uh, doing a simulation. So this sky mode. So first thing is for uh, for any example, we have to first check the uh, border router. So uh, as as we indicate that uh, IP version six is the uh, is the is the great thing for IoT because IP version six uh, is addressable and it is having 128 bits uh, bits addressing mechanism. So what happens is uh, in the next 5 to 10 years there will be 50 billion devices in the uh, internet of things uh, in th so for that addressing the uh, for such a number of devices with the ip version 4 it is not possible so ip version uh, 6 is being chosen so in this uh, ip version 6 so we have the like rpl border router so rpl means routing protocol for low power uh, sensor networks so this rpl border router we have taken and here border router dot c open this file because we have to download this entire source code into the particular uh, real sensor mode since we do not we do not have a sensor mode so we are going to do the simulation here so first you compile it so whenever you uh, compile it it will create a file so for the first time compilation it may take some um, 10 seconds or 15 seconds but i have already compiled so many times so it takes just a couple of seconds so create a node we have so i just create a node here so when you click this uh, this is what the node uh, so uh, this green color says that uh, they are in good radio coverage but the gray color says uh, light radio coverage and outside this uh, no radio coverage uh, 
and I'm going to add two different nodes uh, which enable with co-op protocol so what I do is so uh, I just go in the examples uh, the ER first example in this we have example ER example server I'm going to create two different uh, two servers Again, I will compile it the compilation is done So once it is compiled, so I create two two uh, two number of nodes in this. So my uh, three nodes are formed here, and uh, so I'll see the range of node number one. So uh, I assume that node number two is in range, whereas node number three is in outside this two. So you now what happens is uh, this packet will be transmitted via yeah, two to three. So now I'm going to start the simulation. So before I start the simulation, I need to connect the bridge. I need to make the bridge between this. So for that, uh, uh, Contiki has a separate uh, procedure for connecting this. So what I do is, so in the in the Contiki examples, so where we did the IP version six, Contiki examples, examples IP version six, RPL border router. So in this example, you just uh, check this uh, folder name, examples IP version six RPL border router. So in this example, we have to have a command called as connect router puja because we are going to use a simulator. So this simulator has uh, has to create a bridge. So for this uh, creating a bridge, this is the command. Suppose we want to do it on the real sensor node, we can simply give make connect router. It's enough. Then we are going for the simulator. We have to use connect router puja. Okay. So before that, what we have to do is in the simulator, in the border router, right click mode tools, uh, enable the serial socket server server serial socket because we are going to monitor this server socket so only when you open the server socket so uh, this server will start running now i am using this so it will ask for the uh, root user so once it starts so it will wait for the, the the interface will be waiting to get the ip address of this node so i start the simulation here once i start the simulation you can see that the radio traffic is between 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 because 1 is not directly accessible by 3 okay so now this goes on okay now uh, the example is to uh, run the co application protocol so what i do is i open the browser here so the browser gets opened and now in this network what by what i do is view uh, addresses so it will show the ip version so this is ip version number two uh, version 6 for node number 2 and this is ip version 6 for node number 3 so you can see the all the addressings are common uh, 212 colon 7402 2202 here uh, 7403333 so this way it just so what i do is i'll just ping node number two in this case so the command for executing this co-op is uh, coap like you do in http protocol coap colon slash slash then so since it is ip version 6 ip version 6 we will not refer every time on to date bits sometimes we will be referring only um, 32 bits or 24 bits so but all, all other things are becoming zero so zero we will not uh, refer it here so the name of that is a a colon colon 212 7402 colon 2 colon uh, 202 so once i refer this so um, this is for uh, my uh, node information so when you click the get uh, click core here in the left hand side click core and then get so you will get uh, everything about the particular node so for example the, this we call it as a consent application protocol so here uh, when, when you just hover over your mouse it will say title equal to red led so there is a toggle button red led is available and there is a uh, button even uh, even demo is available in this sensor there are an actuator toggle is there and a sensor so this means that this ip address i am accessing remotely since i am accessing the web browser i am accessing this ip address remotely and again able to control this by toggling this so what i do is so first i just come to the simulator here so in this simulator what i do is uh, right click show leds so in the node number two i am seeing the leds so this is the red green and the blue leds as of now we can see that uh, we will uh, wait for a couple of seconds so there is no leds are glowing now i am going to uh, actuate one of these leds through my browser so what i do is i click toggle and the outgoing message i make it one so this toggling will be one and then post so get and post methods like you do in uh, http the same way it also observed, observed here so when i click the post method 
the data is posted now we can see in the red led is been uh, glowing so now again uh, it will be keep on going until i switch off to zero state so i again i post so this way now it is so uh, this way i can able to control my uh, devices remotely so your uh, one of your devices can be in the any geographical location but i can able to control if i know the ip version 6 address i can able to control the device from my location so this will be very handy for a doctor if a doctor wanted to uh, check a outpatient who is just discharged from a hospital so assuming that a patient discharged from a hospital and is in, in his home with having the equipment ready let's say the the pulse or the beats of the um, patient the doctor wanted to know a doctor simply uh, gives a co-op protocol so the co-op is uh, available in uh, most of the browsers uh, command interfaces the mobile phones like ios android everywhere the co-op protocol is available as of now so once you deploy it so the co-op through the co-op protocol the doctor can able to take the pulse or the heartbeat of a particular patient in his mobile mobile phone or in his smartphone directly so such a kind of uh, sophistication uh, this uh, this protocol is having so now again what i do is again i uh, toggle this and i post this so ob obviously uh, this is running here so this is a simple example of how i can able to do the uh, remote control of a particular device provided that i know the ip version 6 address uh, so for uh, actually this is a Quantic application. So I have written more post about this Quantic OS in my website nsnam.com. So the users are advised to uh, go through my videos in youtubecom kumar And if you have any queries or any doubts, you can just always comment in this website or in my domain. So and I also I have my domain aldaspradipkumar.org the inform support embedded systems and other related technologies so most of my websites will give you information about ms2 ms3 uh, linux iot etc so all the latest research technologies will be available in my website so users are uh, ways to go through my website so thanks for your time thank you